something about the evidence of the Holy Spirit. When you meet somebody that can pray, prophesy, speak in tongues, pray out loud, like, oh, wow, they're full of the Holy Spirit. But you never, when you meet somebody with self-control, you don't think that. Because when we think of the Holy Spirit, we think of the gifts of the Spirit, not the fruit of the Spirit. And I would submit to you, as you are a pastor, I would prefer for you to have the fruit of the Spirit versus the gifts of the Spirit. Because I don't care how much you can prophesy, you're mean. You speak in tongues, but you gossip in English. Like, I'm not really, like, you have the gifts of the Spirit, but, like, you're not joyful. Peaceful. You're not patient. When you interact with somebody full of the Holy Spirit, you should think, man, you are so loving. How are you so patient? Why are you so kind? The gifts can pretty much be meaningless if we're not also operating in the fruit of the Holy Spirit. If you strive to walk by the fruit of the Spirit, then follow for daily encouragement. This